Hey guys, welcome to Cooking the Wheats. Tonight we're going to do probably one of the best tater tot casseroles ever. Hands down. Okay. This is something super simple, packed with flavor, that you can put together in like no time. So, hit that subscribe button for like amazing recipes. Hit that subscribe button and hey, let's just get to it. All right, guys. So to kick off this recipe for this like amazing tater tot casserole, we're gonna start with cast iron and some ground beef. Okay. Now we're gonna add to that some diced onions and garlic. I have three clove, three cloves of garlic and some diced onions. All right. We're gonna throw that right in there. Now we're gonna hit it with some kosher salt. And black pepper. Oh yeah. And we're gonna cook this, okay, until it's no longer pink, and then drain it. Okay, so our ground beef has been cooked till it's no longer pink. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna bring this over to the sink and we're gonna drain out all the fat. Okay, guys, so here we go. So we have our ground beef that's cooked, all right, seasoned onions, garlics, and drained it in the sink, okay, and return it back to the pan. So now what we're going to do is this. We're going to hit it with some Worcestershire sauce. That's probably about, I don't know, three or four tablespoons. Some Dijon mustard. Oh yeah. A little more kosher salt. A little more black pepper. And we're gonna mix that right in there. Okay. Let that go for another couple minutes, and then we're gonna build our ultimate tater tot casserole. All right, guys, so now we're back at it. So we have our ground beef mixture in this casserole dish, okay, which I just layered right in here, okay? So now, this is how we're going to build this right now. We're going to take some cream of mushroom soup, okay? And we're just going to throw the cream of mushroom soup right in here, just like that. Boom. Okay. And what you want to do is just... Spread that out evenly, okay, amongst the top of this right here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just put it out there. Now, guys, the cream of mushroom soup, okay, just is like the backbone for this recipe. I cannot emphasize enough that the cream of mushroom soup is the backbone. So now canned green beans. We're going to throw those right in there just like that. Make sure we kind of like mix those out there. Now, here's the important thing. Make sure you season your green bean with some kosher salt and a little black pepper. Okay? Just like that. Okay, guys. Now we got some cheddar cheese. We're going to load that right on the top. Just like that. Throw that right in there. Oh, yeah. Cheddar cheese. All right, and then finally, we're just going to load this up with some tater tots. All right, you want to layer your tater tots all the way across the whole thing. All right, there we have it. Loaded with tater tots. Ready to go. All right, guys, so this is going to go in the oven. Preheated, 375 for 30 minutes. All right. Wait till you see how this comes out. Okay, so here we go. This has been going for about 30 minutes in the oven at 375. All right. And our cheese, the cheese is melted. The smell of this alone is just enough to knock your socks off. So let's take a 
let's take a good look at this right here, guys. I mean, look at that. Are you kidding me right here? All right, guys, welcome back. I mean, this has been something that, this is just like ridiculous. The smell of this alone is enough to knock your socks off. Holy Christmas. The smell alone of this is just ridiculous. I mean, it's on fire. We got some bread going. Let's go in real quick. Look at that. The steam coming off of that. Oh, I'm going to burn my face. Guys. Oh, my God. The flavor on this is unbelievable. When I say this is by far the hands down, the best, okay, the best tater tot casserole you could ever make, you need to try this one. I believe in you. Make this recipe, and you know what? I want you to watch the video right here, okay? Watch this video, make the tater tot recipe, and that's just, you know, rock and roll. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching Cooking the Weeds.